नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल इम्प्लीमेंट मल्टी क्लास एमनेस डिजिट रिकोगशन क्लासीफायर विद डिसीजन ट्रीज एंड एनसाम्बल टेक्निक्स विल बिगिन बाय इम्पोर्टिंग बेसिक लाइब्रेरीज लाइक मैट प्लॉट लिप डॉट पाई प्लॉट फॉर प्लॉटिंग देन द डेटा विल बी लोडेड थ्रू एमनेस लाइब्रेरी फ्रॉम केरास डॉट डेटा सेट्स मॉड्यूल देन देर आर बंच ऑफ क्लासीफायर्स three classifiers to be specific the bagging classifier random forest classifier and decision tree classifier that are imported from their modules bagging classifier and random forest classifiers are implemented as part of sklearn.ensemble module whereas decision tree classifier is implemented as part of sklearn.tree module then we import model selection utilities for training and test split which is train test split and for cross validation there are a couple of cross validation utilities that we are importing we use shuffle split cross validation for this exercise and we also import shuffle split from sklearn.model selection module we make use of confusion matrix and classification report to evaluate performance on the test set the confusion matrix is displayed with confusion matrix display api from sklearn.matrix module and finally the model is defined through pipeline utility as we have been doing in all other collabs in this course we begin by loading mnist dataset with load data function in mnist class we obtain training feature matrix and labels as well as test feature matrix and labels as you know there are 60000 examples in training set and 10000 examples in the test set Every example is a grayscale image of size 28 by 28 and there are 10 different labels one for each digit from 0 to 9 Before using the data set for training and evaluation we need to flatten it into a vector After flattening we have training and test examples represented with 784 features Each feature records pixel intensity in each of 28 by 28 pixel image we normalize the pixel intensity by dividing it with maximum value that is 255 in that sense we have each feature value now in the range between 0 to 1 so you can see that the shape of training data after flattening is 60000 by 784 whereas the shape of testing data after flattening is 10000 by 784 here we use shuffle split cross validation with with 10 folds and 20% data set aside for model evaluation as a test data we define two functions one for training the classifiers and second for evaluation the train classifier function contains common code for training classifiers for mnist multi class classification problem it takes estimator feature matrix labels and cross validation strategy along with the name of the classifier as input it first fits the estimator with feature matrix and labels as input and then it obtains cross validated f1 macro score for training set with 10 fold shuffle split cross validation and finally it prints the value of f1 macro the eval function on the other hand takes estimator test feature matrix and labels as input and produce classification report and confusion matrix as output it first predicts the labels for the test set then it uses these predicted labels for calculating classification report which outputs various evaluation matrix like precision recall f1 score accuracy for each of the 10 classes it also obtains confusion matrix by comparing these predictions with the actual label and displays it with confusion matrix display utility let us train these three classifiers with default parameters the first classifier is a decision tree second is bagging classifier which also uses decision tree as a default classifier and it trains in fact multiple decision tree classifiers on different bags obtained through bootstrap sampling of training set and we also train a random forest classifier which is also a bagging technique 
and it trains different decision tree classifiers by randomly selecting attributes for splitting on bags or bootstrap sample or training set. Let's train the MNIST multi-class classifier with decision trees. We instantiate a decision tree classifier in the pipeline with default parameters and train it with train underscore classifiers function. The train underscore classifiers function prints mean of cross-validated accuracy and standard deviation of the train classifier on the training set. So here we print F1 macro score and F1 macro score from decision tree is 0.86 and the standard deviation is 0 0.005 which is a very small value. Let's evaluate the decision tree classifier on the test set and you can see that on the test set it has got accuracy of 0.88 and this is a confusion matrix for your reference where we have to label on y-axis and predicted labels on the x-axis. There are 10 labels both on x and y-axis and on the diagonal you see the number of images that are correctly classified to their corresponding digits. Next we train the MNIST classifier with bagging technique. So here we instantiate a bagging classifier with default parameters and we train it with train underscore classifiers function. Then we observe F1 score and its standard deviation as obtained by the classifier on the training set based on train full cross validation. So here we obtain F1 score of 0.937 with a small standard deviation on the training set. So you can see that we are able to get better F1 score. So earlier F1 score with decision trees was 0.86. And now we have gotten the F1 score of 0.993, which is about 7 percentage point increase in the F1 score. And we got this increase just by using bagging, which trains multiple decision tree classifiers. Let's evaluate the train classifier on the test set. So on the bagging, we obtain accuracy of 0.94, which is again 6 percentage point jump over what we obtained with decision tree. In case of decision tree, this was 0.88. And finally, we train a random forest classifier for the multi-class classification for recognizing handwritten digits. So here, we instantiate random forest classifier object with default parameters and train it with train underscore classifiers function. We observe the F1 score and its standard deviation as obtained by the classifier on the training set based on tenfold cross validation. So we see that random forest model achieves F1 score of 0.967, close to 0.997. So random forest, with random forest, we are able to get even higher accuracy than the bagging. So there is almost three to four percentage point improvement by using random forest over bagging classifier. So let's evaluate a random forest classifier on the test set and obtain classification report which contains precision recall F1 score and accuracy for each class. It also calculates confusion matrix and displays it with confusion matrix display utility. So you can see that we have obtained accuracy of 0.97 with random forest classifier and most of the digits are recognized fairly accurately except for digit 9 which has got F1 score of 0.95. So this particular accuracy is at par with K nearest neighbor classifier, K nearest neighbor classifier also achieves accuracy in this particular range. If you recall when we trained MNIST digit recognition with K nearest neighbor classifier. So we trained three multi-class classifiers for handwritten digit recognition. The decision tree classifier is a baseline classifier which obtained accuracy of 88% on the test set. Using bagging and training the same decision tree classifier gave us an increase of 6 percentage point in the accuracy, which translates to 94 percent accuracy on the test set. Finally, the random forest pushed the accuracy further to 97 percent. So we can see that how ensemble techniques give better result on classification tasks compared to a single classifier. With this demonstration, you have added three more powerful tools in your ML toolkit.